Hello and welcome to G3's Let's Play series. Under the spotlight today is Utterly Amazing, a game that combines interesting maths and mechanics with an important ecological story. Developed by Blue Guru Games, joining me today is the developer's head of studio, Lloyd Roberts. Lloyd, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you very much for having me, William. It's uh, a pleasure. So what's, what's, what's the premise of Utterly Amazing and the design ethos behind the title? Oh. As, 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 as you're aware, and as uh, hopefully the, the players will see, it's quite a unique, a unique approach and a unique theme uh, which we've, we've taken uh, here. So I suppose we can the origins of uh, Artly Maze and the theme and, we, and how we got to this point. So although we like to say that this is, otters were the first creatures that actually went to visit my local wildlife park about the age of three or four, that's not where the, uh, the, the, the source of the theme comes from. I was actually reading a national uh, a geo um, article or, or a sim similar publication, which was basically talking about the reintroduction of otters uh, in, in the coastal areas around the Pacific Northwest. Obviously, after decades and decades of um, overhunting and habitat loss, uh, the ecosystem is obviously uh, collapsing. They're keystone species, and they've been removed from it. So essentially, what was happening is that. Um, all the urchins, which is one of the otters' uh, main sources of food, were now flooding the seabeds, which of course removing the sea, the sea kelp and destroying the ecosystem there. So I think it was around the 2014 time they decided to um, reintroduce the sea otter to that area and trying to restore balance. And of course, a, a blue guru, we tell stories is a, is a, is a, key, is a key part of, um, of, of the studio and our message. Um, and this is one that was particularly close close to my heart. And of course, with a theme like this, you have to be very careful. Oh, we felt we had to be careful not to be seen as, as virtue signaling. Of course, you're playing a slot at the end of the day and the players are playing this for escapism. But um, we wanted that ecological message, but how you deliver that message um, and how it's received by players is quite important. So of course, we use the, um, the narrative of using the ot ot otters, which is kind of gives a softer overall feel and look to delivering a slightly um, more serious message, I, uh, I suppose. Um, so yeah, essentially that was the, the origin of um, the theme itself. But at, um, at the same time, I was working on a, an expanding wheels mechanic, a collection and expanding wheels mechanic. And as I said, we tell stories uh, at Blue Guru. It's one of the, it's an important, important uh, facet of building games for us. But of course, the maths, maths is king at the end of the day and will determine if your game is sticky or not long term. So we were looking at ways then of how we can seamlessly link, and another thing that's very important to us, of course, is linking uh, the theme um, to the mechanic for a more seamless gameplay experience uh, for the player. I mean, you can elevate a game from being an average game to, to a great game with, with how these themes and features are being delivered. And of course, the aesthetics and the story is the first thing that the player's, player sees. Um, so yeah, we were working hand in hand with this mechanic and, and theme at the time, and uh, I'd realized, of course, the otter's natural uh, penchant for uh, urchins and the, collect the collection for them they linked very nicely to our collection mechanic and our expanding wheel set. So of course in the wild these urchin, uh, these otters sorry, are collecting urchins which restores the kelp seagrasses and obviously helps helps the wider environment and, um, uh, around it. In our game we're collecting urchins which will grow your, your mystery wheel uh, stats and along with your multiplier uh, stats. So we've got a really, really strong link between theme and mechanic. And, the, and again, it's a kind of softer art style, a more modern cartoon uh, approach taken with the, the otters to, because they're just a really good vehicle to help deliver this ecological message in a kind of whimsical, fun, fun way. Um, one fun way for the player because, as, as I said, people are playing slots, slots at the end of the day. Um, and we'd like to tell us, um, and we'd like to tell stories uh, around the sorts, the way you deliver them to, to the to the player. You know, it's, it's as I said, we're virtue signaling or forcing the message too far. You know, forcing the message upon the player can be um, can be a little bit dangerous. So, yeah, the otters, the ecological link, they, everything just worked hand in hand. And at the time we were developing, um, as I said, we were developing this mechanic, which really. Um, really played to the strengths of the narratives and again we're always looking for that seamless link between theme and um, and mechanic and what would you say outside of that kind of ecological statement which i think is fascinating yes it's an online slot and it's a it's a fine line you've got to tread but i think it's important to also get uh, an important message out there as and when you can using um, you know the assets at your disposal and that design and creative side that you bring to the table what would you say differentiates utterly amazing from anything else in blue guru's portfolio and from the kind of multitude of other water themed slots already in the market yeah it's um so 
for, for, where, how I differentiate from the blue the blue guru uh, portfolio we're still we're still quite a, a we're still a very young young studio obviously um, I think if we're honest with ourselves we're perhaps a little bit too cautious with our um, with some of the initial games that the guys uh, guys released um, perhaps a little bit uh, a bit too safe so I'd say we've we have a more complex set of mechanics attached to this title. Obviously, all working hand in hand uh, together. So it's um, it's a math model that we've we've potentially pushed further uh, than any other. Again, I'll go back to the link. Uh, it's something that we strive for quite a lot. I mean, a, a previous release had with um, Napoleon versus rabbits. So it's, again, it's part of a whimsical historical tale series. So a lesser known story. Um, but again, a really strong link between that, that theme and mechanics. So the whole st story about Napoleon versus rabbits was Napoleon being overwhelmed by, uh, by rabbits and his hunting party. So of course we use that as mystery pays for this, just the rabbits overwhelm and then reveal. Um, so Otley is, again, it's is, is got that really uh, strong connection between the theme and mechanic. It's probably the first with our eco eco more of an ecological uh, message attached to it. But um, it's it's one that we think, or we know that it's already in the players' players' minds. Uh, is, is this message? And of course, the initial focus of the game itself was um, on the urchins and the seagrass because it's a perfect link for our mechanic as well. So the collection of urchins is leading to the, the, the growth of the of the sea kelp. The gameplay element that personally stands out uh, for me is the music and the sound. Is this something that's intentional? How difficult is it to create an interesting soundscape for a slot? one that kind of gets plays into a rhythm without being over repetitive? Yeah, absolutely. Frank. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great question, uh, William. Um, there's something, as we touched upon uh, a little bit earlier with, with, with Blue Guru and We Tell Stories, uh, uh, also something we, we truly be, uh, believe in, and to quote the great Lester Freeman from The Wire, all the pieces matter uh, at Blue Guru, so every element. And again, what I touched upon earlier, that you can have a feature in game A versus the same feature in game B. The delivery of that feature uh, via its theme, via the animations, etc., via the music, can be elevated so much more, yet you're experiencing the same thing. So of course, yeah, to repeat it, all the pieces matter. And um, the music, um, we work very, uh, uh, very, very closely with the, the music guys here um, to, to, to set the tone. So, so initially, we had a very clear idea for, for this game and it's um, and this soundtrack, we le we lent on some um, late '80s, early '90s classic cartoons. Okay. Uh, so we looked at like the likes of Raccoons, uh, Captain Planet, uh, Captain Planet. You know, the really optimistic, upbeat, um, yeah, achieve anything kind of vibe that uh, is just created with them. And then, obviously, with the ecological message, there's a natural link then with the Captain uh, Captain Planet um, uh, and a uh, cartoon. Um, so yeah, it all kind of came together. And again, we're delivering this. I say it, it's a serious e e ecological message. There is that tone throughout this this slot, so the the music um, played really well into it. And again, so as I said, we went through a lot of 80s, 90s intros, outros. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun research actually. A lot of a big hit of nostalgia. Um, so yeah, it's, it is something that's uh, is vital to us, and that's, that's across all of our games. Um, when it comes to music, it comes to the small animation. Again, all all the pieces matter to us at Blue Blue. Um, and they do to the player as well. And how do you make kind of the bass spins uh, an interesting experience? Because it does just feel like these days it's all about the bonus. It's all about how quick can you get there, hence why I can see that there is a buy bonus option on the game here. Um, how do you make it so that those players who don't just want to purchase it, who like the spontaneity of getting the bonus, enjoy the bass spins as well? Because that seems to be something that most slot developers are striving to achieve to kind of make yeah, the whole package interesting uh, uh, abs abs absolutely William but we don't we don't hide the fact that you know the the full feature the full features of the game are, are contained within free guns and that uh, in within free games and that's your ultimate chase for, for, for the bonus but we're also aware that several players aren't there bonus buy and they, they, that's not really their approach to gaming. Several markets don't even have the option for bonus buy so it's important that their math model is incredibly well balanced and almost showing a preview or a taster of what you could be subject to coming in the free free rounds. Um, of course in the, in the free game versus base game here we have an extended real set in the base game you're subject to the, the 5x4 but in the base game itself you have the stacked wilds and then the stacked mystery um, kelp which again plays into the narrative um, that, that we're telling overall, and there's some really substantial, um, substantial hits in in the base base game. When we're looking at, uh, I think on average, one in one in four 
hit rate uh, there with um, high frequency of um, stacked wilds and stacked um, kelp uh, mystery reveals, which feature on all uh, all wheels as well. So there's um there's some solid maths uh, to, to the to the, the base game. It's a really well balanced uh, base game and experience. But of course, you are striving to chase the the, the, the free game. But the maths. I mean, this isn't a game that's built. The, or this isn't a game rather that you'll be waiting 600 spins before you naturally enter a free game round. There's a 1 in 200 odd free ground entry here, which is, uh, you know, pretty standard. There's a 4, well we'd say a 4 out of 5, so medium high, high volatile um, experience. So yeah, it is a swinging experience. So this game, although it's kind of got a softer, um, softer kind of graphical uh, approach, there's, um, you know, we're looking at just shy of an 80,000 max max hit and it's a, it's a swinging math model so there will be times we're entering free rounds where, um, actually I probably shouldn't say that really, but yeah, it's a swinging, I'm just going to say it's a swinging math model. Yeah, so um, perhaps not built for the more casual player, but there is enough wins there that um, I think we approach this for, for mass appeal and it's at the medium high volatility. I think one thing that we've, we've, we've all seen across the industry over the last four to five years is the um, the, volat the volatility uh, levels increasing across all markets. Of course, there's some specific markets who still tend to go for the, the, the soft, softer games and extended playtime, but we've seen fancy to go towards the, the high volatile games with big wins, these jackpot number chase. But um, no, it's a well-balanced, um, uh, base game, but of course you are pushing for the the, the free rounds in this combi multi combination of features that we have. There. Well, almost almost timed perfectly there. I can see that we're we kind of just entering a, a free games free games bonus here. So can you just kind of explain what's what's happening here um, and what the gig is essentially? What's the yeah, kind of, how's it all absolutely. work? Absolutely. Yeah, well, so in in in, in free games. Um, Unlike, unlike base game, obviously you see the extended uh, real set is presented to you. So there's a, a, um, a row knockout system which is attached to the attached to the pink uh, urchin. Now, uh, and then the blue urchin we have the um, the stacked wild multiplier. So collecting three blue urchins will add one multiplier uh, to the three the three multipliers you have subject on the um, the wild reveal. And then collecting the pink urchin will knock out rows and both will add plus spins. Now also when collecting uh, three pin, uh, pink urchins, we were looking at an additional um, uh, additional element to, to add to the story, an additional feature that we could tie into the story as well. So um, we, we played, we had a few uh, different options to go with here, but we, um, we finally settled on a, a symbol knockout. And there's a reason we presented these symbols, obviously, as the most commonly uh, found litter in the sea. Um, of course, it's, it's, it's from the fishing industry, but we're just going to focus on more commonly known items that the player would recognize themselves. So to try and get that, uh, that additional element and link that to the narrative as well. So we've added the symbol removal feature. So now the otters are collecting urchins, um, um, collecting to add to the grow the sea, sea grass and to grow yeah, your, your multiplier wilds, etc. They're now removing uh, symbols for you too. So it's an additional element that ties into the, the narrative and it's a, a great feature that works in combination with the, um, the stacked multiplier chase. But um, for me, this game is, um, you're obviously looking for the perfect storm and the combination. So it's several symbol knockout, row removal, and then those high multipliers. The multipliers themselves are uncapped. So, you, you, you know, you can you can chase some, some pretty big, big rewards there. But it's all about the, um, that, that gold stacked uh, kelp reveal, um, which again you've got three multipliers attached to the um, to the stacked uh, wild kelp, but there's no guarantee on which will be revealed. All three can be revealed, one can be revealed, or potentially two. The the biggest compliment I can pay this game is that it really stands out, and given the position I'm in within the media and the number of slots that I see come across my emails and I see videos of that this really does catch the eye and and, and it, I really like the characterization of the of the otter there just kind of hovering bouncing the ball on his hand and he's got a lot of personality to him it, it was this some kind of inspiration taken from a particular character in uh, whether it's in kind of in mainstream media or in other games not you know it's funny not not, not particularly with this um with this this char character, William, is that we wanted to, I suppose we wanted to set those that they were an otter family. And initially, um, obviously we go through several concepts. Um, this, the theme though, is one that I've, I've had for, for for some time now. So I had, I had a pretty clear vision on the direction I wanted, wanted to go. Now, of course, you, the thing is with, with the art, your vision is always gonna outweigh the actual execution and you have to make comp 
compromise is course and we are designing within the confines of the slot world but that's a challenge in itself so of, of course the sacrifice needs to be made there the the king otter himself character was um was actually um from an initial concept that we did where we actually had the king otter as part of a feature and would happen in off reels but then we found its inclusion um and you know who doesn't love a, a sea otter, William? Um, this inclusion just added this extra element of joy, you know, and these reactions to the the big winds, mega winds. Um, it's just an a, a additional uh, additional level of cuteness, I suppose, for those mm. players who are na naturally drawn to it. But no, no, no. Um, I'd love to say it was designed on a, a specific character, but um, it's actually uh, it remains from uh, the, some of the concept art we're doing. Um, so no, no, no specific design. But I really thank you for the compliment of the game standing out and and it being a unique theme, something that I, I personally, uh, uh, I strive for here. Um, I know, of course, we've got the the, the classic games, the Egyptian, the yeah. the, the, the Mayan games, etc. going on. But um, Blue Guru is not to say that we won't explore these themes, but we perhaps explore them in a, a unique way or uh, a, a bit of an alternate look or an alternate angle, I suppose. Oh, well, Lloyd, thank you, thank you very much for talking through. Utterly amazing. Uh, I guess the last last comment would be: What are your hopes and expectations for the game? Um, I'm, honestly, the, the initial feedback's been really positive, but at the end of the day, it's the players who decide. Um, I'm really, really thankful for um, how well the game's been received for, um, so far from a from a theme and math uh, perspective. Um, so yeah, we're hoping this will probably, uh, potentially be one of our biggest biggest releases to date. We're, we are we are confident with this with this title, and um, if so, there's potential for the narrative to continue. So um, fingers crossed. Well, I look forward to chatting through utterly amazing two with you in a few months or years <laughs> time. So thank you very much. I hope so, William. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, I really you. appreciate it. Bye bye. Bye bye.